video, we're going to compare ChatGPT agent with Manus AI on different tasks that have real world usage. All these tasks require some kind of automation and they involve internet browsing, bash and some sort of tool usage. The idea is that can we rely on these agents to replace humans to do the actual work? And I'm going to first show you the result and I want you to vote on the comment section to say which is the result that you like. The objective of this video is to show you which is the agent that you should pick if you were to go for such automation tasks. First, let us look at the AB testing result. This is the prompt. Generate image based on the following instructions. A side by side bar chart comparing AB test results. Variant A has got 3.2% conversion rate. Variant B has got 46 conversion rate. Bars are labeled with values and variant B is highlighted in green color with a check mark. Use a clean UX dashboard style with light shadows and pastel colors. Include the title AB test results conversion uplift. So this is the prompt that we have given and then you can see that GPT agent has taken one minute and then come up with this result. AB test test results conversion update. For a comparison you can see here this is the output from Manus AI. I like this output personally because first of all this is very clean. You can see the decimal point is chosen as 3.2%. I understand that in Europe this is what they do but I did not mention anywhere that you know this is European data. I mean of course I'm prompting this from India. I don't see any point why ChatGPT agent should use 3,2 instead of 3.2. So that's the first thing. Second thing you can see that Manus has decided to use slightly a brighter tone and here you don't see that brighter tone here. It doesn't even look like this is what the winning result is. So it's it's absurd. Everything looks looks very clean. It, it almost looks like somebody who is an infographic expert has made this with Manus AI. Chat GPT, I mean, it's it's okay. It's okay. I can use it, but it doesn't look top notch to that level that Manus AI has created. The next task is, this is our company website, techcrunch.com. Based on its design style and visual language, please create a set of icons that we can we use in PowerPoint presentations. The icon should be rich appealing and maintain a consistent design language with our site. So the idea is you expect this agent to go to their website, understand their color theme, understand their brand vibe or whatever you would like to call, come back and then design icons based on it. So in this case, ChatGPT agent took three minutes and then it decided to design these icons. So you can see this icons here. So icon one, icon two, icon three, icon four. Now icon four, until icon 4 it is fine but icon 5 is kind of messed up so let me give you a comparison of what Manus has done so this is what Manus AI has created and it has given me it as a zip file even the zip file has a lot of structures you can see here it has given me a documentation a png file folder and then svg folder once again i'm going to side with Manus AI here because it has done a tremendous job of giving me varieties and it has also not messed up most of the time i'm not convinced entirely to use chat GPT for this particular task. See, the next task is one of the most requested items. I consulted a bunch of people, asked them what would you want chat GPT agent to do for you? And the task everybody unanimously said is that ask it to make a PPT. Okay, so you are a senior employee within a tech company tasked with delivering a skill training session on AI agent for productivity to your team members. Like I literally did this couple of weeks back. Please create a clear, easy to understand and highly practical presentation covering the following aspects, training topics and objectives, explanation of core concepts, practical demonstration of case study, common issues and solutions. And uh, ChatGPT worked and uh, initially it was looking for my response. I did not give my response. So ChatGPT agent itself continued the process, which I kind of like it because Sometimes I give the prompt and just I leave my desk. I don't want to sit in front of the computer to just answer every single question. So I like it took initiative itself and then it started doing things. It worked for 19 minutes. So this is, I think, probably one of the tasks where chat GPT agents spent a lot of time. I think for my experience, at least like except RKJ that I did as a separate task failure video, I'll soon publish it. But except that, I think this is one task where chat GPT agent took a lot of time after 19 minutes. This is what it came up with. Honestly speaking, I love this presentation. So there is a picture, obviously, yay agents for productivity, empowering teams with autonomous tools, uh, training objectives. You have got core concepts. What's an AI agent? AI agent architecture. Then you have got use cases and benefits. I think the thing that uh, I'm most impressed on this particular presentation is it went to the internet, collected some key insights, made a chart out of it and put it back on the presentation and then added it. I think I'm like super impressed. Typically you would have analysts in a company to do this task, 
But I'm impressed that ChatGPT agent did this for me. Practical demonstration, deploying an agent, step by step. What is a framework? Identify key tasks and pain points. Engage with stakeholders, define KPI. And then finally gives me the common issues and solutions. And you can see the layout is a little bit ugly here. And then summary and next steps. This is exactly what ChatGPT agent gave me. And I'm honestly impressed. Like out of all the tasks that I've so far given, this is one task ChatGPT agent immediately impressed me. I mean, obviously after 19 minutes. But wait until you see Manus AI. Now, when you see Manus AI, this is what Manus AI gave me. So one, I can say the ChatGPT agent looked more like a PPT than like a website. This almost looks like a Tailwind uh, themed website. You can see Shad and UI based website. You have got a gradient background. You have got the title. It almost looks like website. I like this, honestly. Like I like this look. I like the design. I like the uh, insights that they've provided. I like everything on this presentation. My only gripe here is that it looks more like a landing page less like a PowerPoint presentation. And if I were to just just purely from a PowerPoint presentation point of view, I would have to give it to chat GPT agent because this literally looks like a PowerPoint presentation. Somebody would have done it in a fortune 500 company. It looks boring, but that's exactly how people make PowerPoint presentation. This looks cool. This looks interesting, but people don't make PowerPoint presentation like this. So I love what Manus AI has done, but um, I'm sorry, Manus AI, I can't give it to you this time. And the very final task on this list is asking Manus AI and ChatGPT to animate classic rock album covers and turn them into a video. I want to show you what ChatGPT did first and then we can see what Manus AI did. So just simple prompt, animate classic album covers and turn them into video. It worked for five minutes. So it goes to different websites, tries to collect images, make sure those do not violate copyright images or make sure that you are using it for a fair usage, like you are using it for light usage. I liked it about ChatGPT. It is trying to be mindful about what kind of thing it is getting. So even if you make a video out of ChatGPT agent and publish on YouTube, you're not going to get a copyright strike. So I absolutely love the fact that it has that thought that it should not violate copyright. I mean, there are legalities as well, but the fact from a user perspective, I can directly download ChatGPT's video and start using it. Absolutely love that. Another thing it also did is it said like, I'm going to ensure that there is a gentle zoom fade in fade out. So it has a smooth flow, the transitions between images, loved it. So I'm going to play the video for you so that you can see the full video. I'm going to play the 12 second clip. This is how it looks. And as you can see, um, it does not have any audio. So it's not like it has got audio and I'm not playing. And all these tasks that I'm giving it a zero shot. I'm just prompting it, getting the result back. I could have done follow, but I wanted to just give you the flavor of what zero shot looks like. This is a video. I mean, not bad, right? Um, so it has zoom effect. It has all these things. Now I'm going to go back and then show you what Manus AI has created. So Manus has also done the same thing. First, it has researched about it. It has collected the album. It has uh, downloaded the images, organized it, done everything. But I want to play the output for you. Unlike ChatGPT, Manus has given me a 55 second video clip. And it has made sure to add some kind of a sound effect in each of these items. You can see here. Purely from a video output perspective, I feel like Manus AI has done a much, much better job. See, these companies have the same tools. They've got, uh, they've got Bash, they've got internet, they've got the browser, they've got a bunch of other tools. I feel like of all the tasks that we tested, only one, the PowerPoint is the only one where I preferred ChatGPT agent to Manus AI and everything else. I felt like Manus AI is way ahead. It is better than ChatGPT agent. It could be an iteration thing. You could argue that, you know, ChatGPT agent was just launched two days back, a couple of days back and Manus AI has been there for a while. When you get something from a company like OpenAI with all the hype, you expect it to be the top notch product, but I don't think ChatGPT agent is there yet. I've got one more video coming up with ChatGPT failures and some of the interesting things that ChatGPT agent can do. Subscribe to the channel to see that. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.